Paul from Paul's Cards here. <clears throat> so what we have here is a 14cc Big Valve 3228 bronze guide, spring pockets cut, um, all that good stuff, welded intake tube. Um, yesterday, <clears throat> this customer actually lucked out, uh, Jerry, Jerry Dental. Uh, he's got a couple heads off me, but um, last night I had to uh, change out the uh, flow meter on my uh, flow bench for a, a digital reader. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, he ended up getting about four or five hours just of me playing around, uh, calibrating my flow bench, um, and, uh, doing so, you know, his head was just sitting there. So I ended up grabbing it. Um, I could show you what a port with about four or five hours of flow work looks like. Um, you know, that's what it looks like coming down the shaft. It actually looks like it has like a spiral in there. Let me see if I could turn a light on for you. So that there is what my flow bench says is the best. Now this port here is a bias port. What I'll do is I'll give you a look down the port in the light. And uh, you can see kind of what's going on in there. Now this has the 28 millimeter intake tube welded onto it. But um, yeah, as you can see, it's all blended flows really nicely throughout there. There you go, you can kind of see it better there. But that there is what my flow bench loved. Um, as you see what I'm talking about, the bias port means, uh, bias kind of means it has a prejudice or a, uh, an object bias means it's, a uh, it's uh, it's not symmetrical. It's kind of favoring one side. So the bias in this side, is, as you can see on the right, that's the high flow side, and on the left there, you got this little curve in here. Now that curved wall, what that does is slow down the air coming around that corner. And when that slows down the air, that creates a swirl because you have the high speed air coming in on this side and then this kind of slows down so the high speed air is able to overpower it. If you don't have a bias port, what happens is the air on this side and the air on this side come through balanced and they crash into each other behind the valve right here creating a crazy turbulence back there and it all kind of just tries to stuff itself up through this little space in the valve here. Remember, there'll be a valve here, so it'll try to just cram itself down, just down that one little side. When you create this biased curve, <clears throat> um, what that does is it creates a swirl to happen in this bowl. And that swirl, when the valve is here, creates that air and it wants to push the air out to the sides instead of just up and out this way. So that kind of it actually flows a lot more air and the quality of air coming through that valve is much better. <clears throat> you know, the mixture ratio of the air to fuel stays a lot more atomized because it's feeding that valve a lot more balanced. Um, you know, it took about four to five hours on the flow bench. My flow works $85 an hour. So, I mean, something like this won't be really um, something that the average person will be you know trying to achieve but um something that you really need to be careful with when you are trying to do a bias port is that you cannot invert the bowl <clears throat> uh any part of any you can never invert a bowl if you put a straight edge down and that and if you run your finger down and that bowl actually comes down say if the valve seats here and that bowl actually comes down and like bellies out like fat ways down there you've inverted the bowl and what happens is the air has to come up, then it comes, like rides that inverted corner, and then it's coming the wrong way, and it's angled at the valve stem, instead of, you know, sliding up a hill 
and just coming out. It actually reverses the flow and points it towards the center of the valve, and that really hurts the flow. So, I mean, don't invert the bowl and only bias the port if you, you know, really can uh, track what's going on. I mean, you need, I use flow flags, which is basically a rod with a little piece of string on the end, and it shows you when you hold it in the port and the air is flowing, you know, when you move it around, it'll show you which way the air is flowing. And then after I use the flow flags and get my rough shape, then I'll flow the smoke through it and just, you know, really make sure it looks good. And then I'll actually pull a number on it. I won't pull a number on it until basically I have the port design I like and everything is flowing right. Um, you know, and this head right here is, is a real beautiful piece, uh, Jerry. Uh, Jerry is actually, uh, I recognize that name. I know he recently actually just got another head from me, so he must like the heads. And so, uh, you know, I had a couple heads sitting there, and I know Jerry just got another one off me, so I figured, hey, grab heads and do him a favor. So, uh, Jerry, this is your head. I hope you enjoy it. A little freebie from Paul's Carts, and until next time, have a nice day. That's Paul, and that's Bias Port. It's Bias, B-I-A-S. So, uh, Paul from Paul's Carts, have a nice day.